In September 2006, Governor Schwarzenegger signed AB 32, the California Global Warming Solutions Act, and California became the first state in the nation to implement a regulatory program to combat climate change. The goal? Reduce California greenhouse gas emissions back to 1990 levels by the year 2020, a roughly 25% reduction from current emission levels. Not a small task for a big state. But already, within the first year, the California Air Resources Board, or ARB, has identified 44 early actions to reduce greenhouse gases. This represents about 20% of the total emission reductions needed to meet the 2020 deadline. ARB has quickly set to work identifying nine fast-track early actions that will begin to reduce the troubling emissions. ARB will adopt regulations that will be enforceable by January 1, 2010. The nine fast-track actions will reduce carbon dioxide, or CO2, emissions, and they will target even more potent greenhouse gases. Here are a few of the early actions that ARB staff are working on. ARB will set standards to reduce emissions of hydrofluorocarbons used in the propellant spray of common consumer products. This includes electronics cleaning and dust removal products and tire inflators. ARB estimates this will reduce greenhouse gas emissions equal to an equivalent 0.3 million tons of CO2 per year. ARB will establish standards to reduce emissions of perfluorocarbons, or PFCs, used in the semiconductor industry. This action should reduce greenhouse gas emissions equal to 0.5 million tons of CO2 per year. The use of sulfur hexafluoride, or SF6, will be banned from use in non-essential applications if viable alternatives are available. SF6 is typically used in the casting of aluminum and magnesium. Greenhouse gases escaping from do-it-yourself automobile air conditioning maintenance will be reduced in another action taken by the board. ARB estimates this measure will reduce emissions by 1 to 2 million tons of CO2 equivalent per year. Methane, a potent greenhouse gas escaping from landfills, will be reduced by requiring state-of-the-art capture technology. This will reduce emissions by 2 to 4 million tons per year. Other early actions will reduce greenhouse gas emissions by reducing energy and carbon fuel use. The board approved a low carbon fuel standard where the carbon intensity of California fuels is reduced. This will reduce CO2 equivalent emissions by 10 to 20 million tons per year. ARB has identified three other actions that can be taken in short order. Regulations will require existing trucks and trailers to be retrofitted with devices to reduce aerodynamic drag. Smartway truck efficiency will save fuel, resulting in fewer exhaust gases being emitted. ARB estimates this action alone will reduce CO2 equivalent gas emissions by 1.3 million tons per year. Auto technicians will be required to check and then properly inflate tires as part of the overall service. Properly inflated tires reduce fuel use and thereby reduce exhaust gas emissions. 0.2 million tons of CO2 equivalent will be eliminated. Lastly, measures will be taken to allow docked ships to shut off their polluting auxiliary engines and plug into dockside electrical outlets. Called green ports, this will get rid of 0.5 million tons per year of CO2 equivalent greenhouse gas emissions. This measure also has the added health benefit of reducing diesel particle emissions, an area of concern. Though each of these early actions is a small step by itself, when taken all together, these early actions will eliminate emissions that are the equivalent of removing 3.5 million cars from California roadways each year. In partnership with local air districts, communities, and industry, the Air Resources Board continues to develop cutting-edge strategies to fight California air pollution and global climate change.